Alas, poor tiger, I knew you not. But then again, if I did, I probably would have wanted to kill you too. I never expected you to return. I should kill you for what you've done. If you hadn't driven those tiger creatures off, I would kill you. 
Why you did that after you led them here in the first place is beyond me. Leave me now. You've done enough damage. What are you talking about? I didn't leave the creatures here. Of course you did. Not more than two hours ago, you and Lord Tsar passed through this village. Unwittingly, we helped you. We gave you current directions towards the center because for some reason that's where you wanted to go. You were very pleasant then. You thanked us and went on your way. Shortly thereafter, you returned alone, leading a charge of the tiger creatures. During the battle, you disappeared. I don't know why I don't gut you right now. We lost more men in the skirmish than we have in a month of fighting. Now this encampment is compromised. We'll have to move as soon as we're able. And we have you to thank for it. That wasn't me. Lord Czar is accompanied by a shape-shifting dragon. I'm on their trail. A shape-shifting dragon? That's a new one. I wouldn't put it past the labyrinth, though. It's getting more and more devious every day. If this dragon accompanies Lord Czar, then as long as he doesn't realize the true nature of his companion, he is in mortal danger. My resources are meager, but I am willing to help you as I can. What would you have of me? Tell me how the dragon got the tiger creatures to attack. It wasn't difficult. Remaining hidden from the dangers of the labyrinth is a daily struggle. The pack of tiger creatures moved into the area not long ago. He paid them a visit, then came straight here. The entire pride followed, snarling for blood. The creatures were delighted to discover the village. They pounced and caught us completely by surprise. Many died in the first few moments. The rest rallied here in the center. We managed to shield ourselves until you arrived. I'm glad you came when you did. I don't know how much longer the magic would have lasted. Can you tell me where Lord Czar and the dragon went when they left here? Certainly. They entered the forest to the north. But that information won't help you much. The labyrinth reinvents itself all the time. Paths that Czar and the dragon followed could have vanished, could even be pits or swamps. Only a skilled tracker could find them now. Is there such a tracker in the village? Yes, we do have such a man, but he was on guard duty when the beasts attacked. He fought valiantly, but the pack was too large and he took the brunt of the charge. He was eventually overcome. He is alive, but I fear that his wounds will prove fatal. The healer is with him now, but I don't have much hope. What dangers can I expect further along in the labyrinth? I've never traveled backward through the labyrinth. Our goal is to leave here. Even so, though every step toward the final gate presents a challenge, I doubt that the labyrinth would prevent someone from penetrating deeper into it. It's akin to walking toward the center of a spider's web. When you finally arrive, you'll have a devil of a time getting back out. You'd be doing the labyrinth's job for it. Any obstacles you encounter are not likely to have been placed there by the labyrinth. More likely, you will find traps set by the dragon. It seems to me that the attack of the tiger creatures was such a trap. Obviously, the dragon didn't care whether we defeated them or not. If we managed to defeat them, we would kill you on sight for loosing them upon us. If we didn't, the whole area would be swarming with them. Either way, it would have been rough going for you. Never mind that. You have to tend to your wounded. In fact, is there anything I can do to help? Regretfully, no, unless you are more skilled than our current healer. Most of our people are either not seriously harmed or very seriously dead. Only the man on the ground here is in critical condition. Our healer works on him now, but I think she is helpless to do anything. He is fading fast. Let me think on this. Very well. I must instruct the survivors to begin packing up the village. We can't remain here for long. The scent of so much blood on the wind will draw predators from all parts of the labyrinth. If you think of anything, simply ask.
Yes, my friend. I'll Let me think very well. You healed me, brought me back from the brink of death. I am indebted to you. It was nothing. It was everything. I'm in your debt. I don't like being in someone's debt. Tell me how I can repay you. I hear you're a pretty good tracker. I know the labyrinth. I know its signs. I can sense how it changes, sometimes even how it will change. If I find the start of a trail, I will never lose my way. I guess I could teach your healers a thing or two. They do what they can. I thought that no one could heal the wounds I had taken. You surprised me. I couldn't do much for your wardrobe, though. Clothes are clothes. I think my next jacket will be made out of tiger skin. Do you think you could help me? Of course. I'm in your debt. Tell me what I must do to absolve myself of it. I'm on the trail of Lord Zar and his companion, who happens to be a shape-shifting dragon. Do you think you can find them? Of course. That's what I do. I will accompany you while I track them. When I'm certain that we've found them, my obligation to you is resolved. I must return to my village. If you wish me to find your quarry, we must follow them into the forest north of the village. It is there that they fled. The trail leads here into that cave. I've seen this cave before. There is no exit. Your quarry lies inside. The creature guarding the entrance is a Cheyavan. I've only encountered their like once or twice before, and I can tell you this. If you spill its blood, every drop will grow into a duplicate of the monster. Only by killing it before it bleeds, usually with a precise thrust through its heart, can you keep it from regenerating. A sloppy attack, and you'll have an army of these things to contend with. Usually the best way to deal with this type of beast is to avoid it. I don't think you've got that luxury, though. If you're going into that cave, you'll have to go through the Cheodin. My obligation to you is over. I've led you to the end of the trail. The people of my village need my help, so I must return. Good luck.
I've been expecting you, patron. I knew that the obstacles I placed would do no more than delay you. But they gave me enough time to find the portal to the Vortex. Zar is there now, waiting for me. As soon as I take care of you, I'll return to complete my task. I can't imagine why you've persisted in following me. After I spared your life, you should have cowered in the nearest corner, praying that you would never see me again. Instead, you continue to race towards your doom. Well, it would be rude to disappoint you. I sense that you have nulled your magic power. An unwise move, patron. You are helpless against me. Prepare yourself. This time, you have no dog to save your soul. I've led Zar to the Vortex. He'll reform the world, and this place will be no more. I don't think you'll survive. But if somehow you do, we'll meet again. And then I'll have my revenge. And I was just getting into the shower. You call it the most inopportune times, Haplo. You've a knack for getting into trouble, my boy, and this is a doozy. My, my, my. Face to face with the embodiment of evil. You've had a full day. And look what happened to my dragon. I'm afraid this is going to have to come out of your security deposit. That's all the rock did? Summon you here? What did you expect it to do? Wasn't that enough? I think that I did a mite better than you would have in this fight. Well, I did have a little help. Nonetheless, we saved your bacon and I think we deserve a little gratitude. My thanks, Zifnab. I appreciate your help. Of course you do. It's always nice to have the side of good rescue you from certain death. Every time it happens to me, I get goosebumps. There's nothing better, I tell you. Except maybe a really good pastrami sandwich with extra mayo. Eh, I could have taken that dragon. Well, you may get your chance. Remember, Sangrax is still on the loose. And my dragon doesn't look like he'd survive another direct confrontation. It may be up to you after all. I'm glad you have so much confidence. I'd be willing to take odds if you'd like to wager on your success. I'll give you, oh, let's see, 300 to 1. Sound fair? Why did you let Sangdrax escape? I didn't see you there slugging it out with Sangdrax. I think my dragon did an admirable job in driving him off. Sangdrax is weak and desperate. He'll be much more likely to make a mistake now. Where did the evil dragon go? He slipped out the portal. You see, thousands of years ago, Sama hid the magic portal to the vortex in the labyrinth. Here in this cave, to be exact. 
he figured that it would be the safest place to do so. No one would come back into the labyrinth to find it. The portal leads directly to the outskirts of the Vortex. We must assume that Sangrax has already escorted Zar there. In fact, they'll probably go directly to the floating island. Very soon, Zar will begin the reformation, unless we stop him. Is your dragon all right? He doesn't look good. Sangrax did quite a job on his wings. He got his comeuppance, though. Did you see those wounds on his face and chest? Those will smart for a few hundred years, mark my words. He won't even be able to change form to heal them. When you get wounds like that, they stay for dinner. What do we do now? Well, that's simple. We go after him. We have to stop him before he leads Zar to the center of the vortex. They have all of the seal pieces which you were so kind as to supply, so nothing stands in the way of the reformation. Whenever you're ready, I'll take us through the portal to the Vortex. All right, I'm ready to go. Take us through, Zifnab. Very well. Climb up on my dragon and I'll take us all through. My dragon is wounded, Mr. Insensitive. Why don't you get rid of some of that heavy junk that you've been toting around? It'll make the trip that much easier for him.